Hey everyone, Civil Spider. Now, I have another tutorial for you guys. It's going to be nice and quick on how to do event pan and crops, um, which is basically moving the camera, uh, putting multiple screens up at once on one uh, you know, video clip, stuff like that. But I'm not going to go into full detail on every single one of those things just yet. What I'm going to do first is show you guys how to do the camera movements because I feel like that'll be easier for a quick video. So let's get right into it. So right now I have a, uh, a video for Planet Dolan up, right? So this is one of the videos. It's already edited and up, so like there's no reason for me to try to hide this. Anyway. Okay, so let's say this is your video. You have it in your timeline. You're gonna go to whatever part of your video you want that camera movement to happen. So let's say I'm like, you know what, right here at this part in this video is where I want the camera to zoom in. Now, you also wanna consider when you want it to zoom in, when you want it to zoom out. So I'm gonna click S right now on this video. So click on your video, click S. That way you can split the video. Um, I know some people can do this other ways, but this is what's easiest for me and it works flawlessly. So what you want to do is you're going to split it. Now you're going to find the next part where you want it to end. I don't want mine too long. So let's say right here is my timeline. Now that means this little slip bit, it's on its own. Okay. It has nothing to do with this track anymore uh, of the video and it has nothing to do with this part of the video. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go right here, right here where it says events, pan, and crop. That is where all this magic happens, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that. Now, you're going to see two different things. One, you're going to see this border around your video, which is basically what you want to consider in your head, like that's what the camera is on. And then not only that, there's this timeline here at the bottom, okay? So what, you, what I want you to take away is that this positioning section, this is like the timeline for positioning. Um, you want to remember that there's something called keyframes. Keyframe indicates what you want to happen from keyframe A to keyframe B to keyframe C, depending on how you move the camera. But let's make it into something like I said, camera being zoomed in at one spot only and that's it. So what you would do is make sure right over here, you have lock aspect ratio on, uh, just keep size about center, just have it on as well by clicking it. And maintain aspect ratio right here in the source, just make sure both of these are yes and yes, okay? Now, what you would do is you go to the corner and you want to zoom in, right? But let's say I'm zooming in on his smile. That's all I want to show mainly. Now you'll see the change I've made. For one, this is basically like I said, the camera. And you know that right here in the main video, the camera was only there, all right? Also keep in mind that right here in the, in the timeline, I'm on the very first keyframe. That's where you want it if you only want the camera to stay in one spot throughout this section. Now again, that timeline, this timeline, represents the time of this snip okay that's it it doesn't do anything else for the other ones because you cut it out from that now go ahead and press play on the part did you see that how my camera stayed zoom in and that's it it's only zoomed in at that one spot of that video and that's it even as the video goes on look at that it's only in one spot until it until it ends right here so <clears throat> that is how you zoom in Simple as that. Now you want, if you want to restore it back to its original size, right click on here on the camera and just click restore. And there you go. Now it's the original size it was in. Now, second thing I want to tell you is about keyframing. Um, keep in mind that, like I said, if you want it to be still at one spot throughout this entire section, you want to have that first keyframe, right? Because that first keyframe, you're just saying, hey, only this spot and that's it, nothing else. Now, let's say you accidentally move this and right here, let's say three seconds in, you move the camera here, right? And you were like, oh, the camera's gonna stay in that spot only, that's it. You check the video and you're like, wait, what the, why is it moving? Because since you went to a different section of this, uh, of this timeline with the cursor and you left it there and you moved the camera, you now made a, uh, basically you made a keyframe right here, a new keyframe was made. And the Sony Vegas said, because you told it technically that you want it from here to here to move the camera from obviously right there to right here. And it saved that. Now that is what I'm telling you that you want to keep in mind because if you make any other changes anywhere else, no matter what, it'll make a keyframe. So mess around with it, see what you can do. Um, sorry if I talked a lot. <laughs> I just really want you guys to understand what I'm getting at, the concept, because this is this is important stuff, especially if you know what you're trying to do. It's 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 good to know <clears throat> how you're moving the camera and how Sony Vegas is going to read your inputs. So 
mess around with it but um for now that'll be it if you guys want i can make another tutorial on how you can put like multiple cameras on the screen you know stuff like that i think that's really fun that's that's involves like layering and then it involves this you can even do masking there's a lot of options so let me know but for now this is good i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoyed it if you find it useful feel, feel free to subscribe maybe i'll make more tutorials if you guys want them and then uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video okay bye